More than 7,000 cars and trucks use it every day in downtown Sioux Falls, but starting next week, the 8th Street Bridge will be closed to traffic and pedestrians. The structure, built in 1912, is undergoing a major rehabilitation project. Kellen's Matt Holson shows you what's being done. Work is already underway as crews are dropping rock under the 8th Street Bridge and along the Big Sioux River. They are installing the causeway um, to access the bridge. City of Sioux Falls um, civil engineer Dina Knutson says once the important connector between downtown and the East Bank is closed, the rehab will begin on the more than 100-year-old structure that's showing its age. On top of a new surface up top and utility improvements, the bridge will get a safer new railing. We anticipate opening the bridge um, in November of this year. Um, some of the work with the greenway that we are incorporating with this work, with the bridge construction, um, that could go into next summer. If you're into water sports, your kayaks and canoes will not be allowed under the bridge during construction. A special landing will be built just to the south. So it'll kind of put a damper on things for a little bit, but... Lisa Hodson works in the area. She's happy to see the bridge getting fixed up, but is planning for different routes for her morning and evening commutes. It won't affect us too bad, but just a difference in scenery mostly and uh, maybe picking up groceries at a different location. Construction will be loud at times. Brad Ludens with the City of Sioux Falls says it's all in an effort to breathe life into an important part of downtown. The rehab also includes brand new uplighting underneath. And it's actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, it's uh, what they call an earth-filled Luton Arch Bridge, and it's uh, one of only a handful of these types of bridges that are left in the entire country. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. The bridge closure takes effect this Monday. Crews will be using high-pressure water blasting to remove old concrete on the internal and external surfaces of the bridge's arches. If you'd like to, uh, specific detour information, we've posted it with this story on Kelloland.com.